गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अंजू कोल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बॉटनी गवर्नमेंट पी जी कॉलेज फॉर वीमेन गांधी नगर जम्मू माई रिसर्च टॉपिक इज डिटेक्शन ऑफ माइक्रोफ्लोरा एंड नेफ्रोटॉक्सिक माइक्रोटॉक्सिन ऑक्रोटॉक्सिन ए इन ड्राइड अंडरग्राउंड पार्ट ऑफ एक्स कैलेमस एक्स कैलेमस इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज स्वीट फ्लैग और कैलेमस Its local name is Bacha or Bach. It is a tall perennial monocot plant of the Acoraceae family, grows in wetlands and marshes luxuriantly. It is greatly valued herb in Ayurveda as its stimulating aroma rejuvenates the brain and the nervous system. It is also effective against digestive disorders. In addition, it is valued as a home remedy in our Uh, union territory of jammu and kashmir where rhizomes are cut into small pieces and preserved in the form of garlands at home and used for cough and extra bile secretions this is uh, so these are some of the photographs of the plant first a is uh, the acorus calamus growing in its natural habitat marshy habitat b is a complete plant showing the strap shaped leaves c are the rhizomes which are actually the parts which are used in the medicinal uh, preparations then d are the dried uh, cut pieces of the rhizomes and e dried rhizomes made into garlands for use as home remedy different herbal preparations uh, which have acorus calamus as ingredient are bacha churna sarswat churna ashwagandha arisht sanjeevani vatti chandra prabhavati brahmi vatti etc These medicinal rhizomes are cultivated or collected from wild and then sun dried and heaped on ground till further use. However, due to unscientific methods of harvesting, sun drying and storage, these dried underground rhizomes are prone to sap saprophytic fungal contamination and degradation. It is anticipated that because of their presence below the soil line these plants parts are even vulnerable to huge diversity of soil borne opportunistic microbes these are the market samples of this plant where we can see the discoloration and fungal infestation as these uh, parts rhizomes they are rich in carbohydrates and other nutrients they form an excellent substrate for further proliferation of fungal species during storage these carbohydrate rich dried underground plant parts have the ability to readily absorb moisture during rainy season and thus may attract more group of spoilage fungi all these issues prompted the need to investigate the microbial load and mycotoxin contamination associated with dried rhizomes of this medicinally important plant of our union territory material and methods collection of the samples dried market samples of acorus calamus were collected in pre sterilized polythene bags from wholesale and retail shops of different districts of erstwhile state uh, including the leh district also the sample bags were brought to laboratory sealed over flame to avoid external contamination recovery of mycoflora associated with market samples of these medicinal uh, this medicinal plant microbial load of the market samples was recovered by using surface washing technique of singh and kensa identification of fungal species recovered identification of recovered fungal species was done by studying their cultural and morphological characters and using relevant literature and various keys extraction of ochrotoxin a from dried medicinal samples samples of dried underground parts of acorus calamus were collected from different markets of jammu and kashmir and analyzed for mycotoxin contamination by using modified multi mycotoxin screening method developed by roberts and peterson estimation of ochrotoxin a for detection of ota known amounts of sample extracts were spotted on activated tlc plates along with the ota standard and uh, using the rf uh, along with the uh, standard we could identify or we can uh, find the presence of ota in these extracts 
quantitative estimation of OTA. It was done by modifying the HPLC method of Vrabacheva. The mobile phase consisted of methanol 0.05% aqueous and uh, 0.05 aqueous phosphoric acid at flow rate of 1.25 ml per minute. Uh, then uh, the chromatography was done using uh, this uh, method. These are the uh, plate, this plate shows first the TLC, the upper part shows the uh, estimation where the qualitative estimation or detection of the OTA was done from the samples uh, using the TLC method uh, and the standard was used for identification and the second one the lower part shows the chromatograms, the HPLC chromatograms, results and discussions. Surface microflora associated with market samples. A total of 44 fungal species belonging to 22 genera were recovered. Zygomycetes were represented by 4 genera, uh, 4 species, Ascomycetes by 8 genera, 10 species, and te uh, the 10 species and 30, 10 genera, 30 species were belonged to the Digidiomycetes. Recovery of such a large number of fungal species clearly indicates that these medicinally important carbohydrate rich underground plant parts are good substrates for growth and proliferation of surface uh, invading fungi. During the present inv investigation, it was observed that many of the fungal species recovered from dried samples were moderately xerophilic. This is the table showing the recovered fungi. Among these recovered fungal species, Aspergillus and Penicillium were the most dominant, represented by 15 and 14 species respectively. These species are usually the first colonizers of properly stored commodities and are considered to be the most destructive as they increase the water activity of the substrate and allow other fungal species to take over. Herbal medicines are generally considered safe and effective have better compatibility with human body and have less side effects. However, due to the fungal invasion, biodegradation of some active ingredients may take place, thus resulting in loss of both market value and the efficacy. Further, many of the fungal species produce toxic secondary metabolites to the, which can be a risk to the health of the users. Fleshy plant parts may be more vulnerable to mycotoxin contamination as they are rich in mineral salts and carbohydrates. Presence of a wide range of storage fungi in these dried rhizomes as in indicated in this study suggests a potential risk associated with the consumption of rhizomes. Therefore, considerable improvements have to be made necessarily during post-harvest storage which may definitely reduce the risk for consumers' health. Now, after that, analysis of the samples was done for the ochratoxin A. And in the results, we can see a total of 30.76% of acorascalomus rhizome samples were found to be contaminated with OTA, which is a nephrotoxic mycotoxin. And the contamination ranged between 0.05 to 0.89 milligrams per gram, which is very high. Ochratoxin A has been associated with nephropathy in livestock animals. In addition, it has been associated with Balkan endemic nephropathy and urogenital tract tumors in animals and possibly in humans. The International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified OTA in group 2b because of its toxicity to humans. Committee on Toxicity of Chemicals in Food, consum Consumer Products and Environment consider OTA as a genotoxic carcinogen and propose that its levels in consumables be reduced to the lowest level. Joint Expert Committee on Food Additives of the WHO and FAO set a provisional maximum intake of 100 nanograms per kg body weight while the Sci scientific committee on the food of the European Union proposed that the maximum daily intake of OTA should not exceed 5 nanograms per kg body weight. 
However, few countries have legislative limits which are ranging from 5 to 50 micrograms per kg. But we have seen as in our results, the concentration of the toxin found in these samples was very high. That is 0 0.05 to 0.89 milligrams per gram. Acrotoxin A is uh, known to have a remarkably long resistance time in the animal body. Presence of any amount of this toxin in acorus calamus rhizomes is dangerous because being a neurotox uh, neurotoxic Ayurvedic uh, as this medicinal plant we have uh, with us that acorus calamus it is a neurotonic used for increasing the uh, uh, neuro health. So, usually this uh, type of medicines, they are usually recommended for long durations by the Ayurvedic practitioners. So, if we take this medicine for long durations and it has got presence of OTA and which otherwise stays very long in our body. So, it keeps on magnifying. So, biomagnification uh, takes place and then it may definitely cause ill effects in the body of the consumers. So, through this study, what we can uh, find is that these acorus calamus rhizomes, if they are not properly stored, they will have both the fungi and the ochrotoxin. And this detection of this nephro nephrotoxic mycotoxin is more dangerous as these formulations are sold commonly in our local ma uh, markets uh, if they are not taken by the other countries and they are not definitely safe for human com consumption. It is possible that these toxins may interfere with the therapeutic potential of these rhizomes and their ingestion may lead to deleterious effects on human health. So, what we get from this uh, study is that uh, one, this uh, presence of the fungi and the mycotoxins they will first degrade these rhizomes so the therapeutic potential the active ingredients which are responsible for a particular uh, treating a particular disease they will be also degraded and then in addition the to presence of to toxins they will have additional uh, uh, these uh, negative effects on the health so what we have to do we have to find modern storage practices that will improve the quality and decrease the probability of fungal and mycotoxin contamination in these rhizomes. Thank you so much.